Port Moresby is regarded as the worst place to live among 130 world capitals. And we went to one of the poorest settlement communities in Port Moresby, yeah. where the residents' houses sit above trash, waste, and sewerage. There's no privacy here. Did many people fall? Yeah. Yeah? And when it's damaged, they just make any timber line and just put it and like join it. Their trash isn't collected, so it gets stored under their houses, which are built on the ocean with deteriorating wooden planks for walkways. As you approach the settlement, you can't help but notice that there are abandoned cars scattered throughout. This kid's gonna, gonna <laughs> The traffic jams are a little bit different to elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. They don't have the playground, you see? Ah, so they just play on the street. So yeah. This is there, you think it like the girls are playing the net. Hello. 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 Village court. Is that? That's the court. That's the court yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, the village courts. Uh, these houses were modern, sort of, uh, because these houses were burnt down. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so and then uh, government donated and built their uh, own. Hi. The, mm -hmm. the tribes and the clans, as walkways and other mm -hmm. clans. Run after us. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> because they don't have uh, people to come and collect, so they just leave it there. Why is there so many broken cars here? People run it until then get old. Uh, hey. <laughs> there is no parking spot. Yeah. Hey. There's no privacy here. Uh, Only the house is there. You have to leave it here. Go, 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 go. You wanna go down and watch over there? Okay. You can you can go and walk in there. It's very peaceful, very lovely people. Yeah. You can ask, you can talk to them. Just walk there and come back. To watch every step. The entrance to the houses is scary, and with just one wrong step, you would fall into the trash, and we were told people often do. This is intense. There are large gaps between the wood, which itself isn't very sturdy. Wow, look at it though. And falling apart in many places. Wow, look at that. I don't know if I can keep going. Do you wanna... <laughs> look at that. Hello. How are you? You can see the walk, uh, walkway is not 100%. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Not uh, like. I'm like 20 to 25 years now. 22 years? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's been. Uh, wow. Uh, when it's damaged, they just make any timber line and just put it and like join it or. Whatever they can? Yeah, whatever oh, wow. They can. Yeah, it's, it starts to get, I guess, a bit <laughs> rocky yeah. over there. I mean, Did many people fall? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, especially uh, small children. Small children, yeah, yeah. If they when run, they, especially. When they like running up in groups. Yeah. It's one or two of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Risky. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. When you look down, all you can see is the trash and the sewage and concern about every single step because, well, you can see that the planks are falling apart. Actually. Do I go there? We went as far as we could, but even the locals said that it's too risky to keep going up. And if you look down, you can see why. Uh, I don't want to go. Yeah, that's probably as far as I'm going to go. I'm scared. Me too. I can actually feel it kind of like... Especially with my size. <laughs> okay. Hey, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Yeah. We walked through the settlement and out towards the ocean, but eventually we got scared and had to turn back. Not of the people, but of the walkways we were walking on. This was during the day on a clear day. One can only imagine what it's like at night or during a storm or if you were drunk. Hello, Hello how are you? <laughs> Feels like every step is like... Well, look at that one there. It's like falling through. Oh, 
Oh look, there's so much rubbish down there too. It's like crazy. According to The Guardian, with poverty, Hi. crime, poor health care and a rampant gang culture, we get a photo? <laughs> Port Moresby consistently scores the highest in the unit's hardship table, meaning it is regarded as the worst place to live among 130 world capitals. And yet you wouldn't know it looking at these kids. The locals are so friendly. The kids were excited to see us and wanted us to film them and to take photos with them. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. They also wanted to show off their rugby skills. Yeah, jump in. <laughs> ah, <laughs> coming from everywhere. The kids clearly wanted to show off for the camera and they came running from everywhere to take photos. Thank you. <laughs> and they were so excited to see the photos afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time we tried to leave, they would want to take more photos. <laughs> I'm not saying the crime stats are wrong or it's not dangerous, but if you go to the poorest neighborhood in most capital cities around the world, you wouldn't be welcomed like this. And it says a lot that they managed to be so happy given the conditions that they live in. <laughs> Hello. Hey. And when we finally started to leave, they were running hey. after the car to say goodbye. While in Port Moresby, we also checked out what else there is to do and even saw a zoo that was quite extreme. Then we ventured deeper into Papua New Guinea to go to a tribal gathering. And to find out how civilized Papua New Guinea is, make sure to watch and subscribe as we go into detail about how civilized the country actually is. I know yeah. what it is. Mm -hmm. Yes. A penis scored. We use it for drink. Oh uh, yeah. It's water bottle. So is it um, old? It's very old. This old, very old. Yeah. Of course you would like an old one. <laughs> this would be for, well. <laughs> I yeah. go into the detail. <laughs> <laughs> drinking. So you're afraid to arrest people? Yeah. Yeah, 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 wow. It's pretty shocking to think how happy these kids are when, as the elder said earlier, they routinely fall through the gaps into trash and raw sewage. 